Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Norwegian 737 project. Looks like it's uh, sunny, uh, sunny skies, but no, this is just my desktop. <laughs> I have uh, a Chris Walker down in um, Australia. He has been asking me if I could show him how to uh, assign assign one of these switches uh, in ProSim, and um, I'll try my best. If so, just. Uh, See if you can uh, follow me here. Uh, what I want to do, I want to demonstrate this first a rotary wrist switch. This is a three-way switch with basically it's connected like an on, off, on button in ProSim. So it does only have, even though we have three steps, we have only two wires connected to my uh, interface cards. So we basically only have to configure in ProSim is all on one and all on two. This step is long, when uh, ProSim no longer feels either one of these two steps, it'll automatically go to auto source because that's the last option for this particular switch. Okay. Now I uh, the first thing you need to do is open up your ProSim window like right there. And I am sorry if you cannot really see what I'm going to do. Because the first thing you need to do is hover your mouse over config uh, and open the configuration window, which is this one. Let's see if you can see any better if I do this. No, you can't. Let's just leave it like that. Okay. Uh, before I shot this video, I already found my switch inside the configuration window and I, I can see now three options for this switch which is display source all on one display source all on two and display source auto but if you look there only two of those options have been assigned so what you do let's say we want to assign the uh, or assign um, Display source all on two. Okay. What I do, I turn my switch into display source all on two. And now on the top left, right there, there's a there's a bar full of numbers that says Flight Deck Solutions High Input Output uh, Card, and Input 103 has been uh, moved. Okay. For you now, for you to assign uh, what this button is going to do, all you have to do is hover your mouse over the little A corresponding to the assignment you want to give this button. So in my case, it says display source all on two. And back here, display source all on two. If I press A, right now click now it has been assigned and is a done deal and you do this with all the buttons um let's see another example is for example uh, a landing light switch oh let's just see if we can find a switch pack one see my pack switches too they're all three-way switches, but only two of the functions on the switch has been assigned. Because you do not have to assign the third one. It sounds ridiculous, but just try it. It'll always... Uh, it's gonna work. Uh, main, min, 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 min. Okay, recall. Recall switch. Okay. So, recall... If, if we wanna hang let's see pushed recall one pushed a uh, if we want to assign a recall this is my recall button right there I am gonna push it and look at what happens to the numbers up on my top left one two and three now you see it says FDS sys three card input nine okay so if I want to assign this all I have to do is press recall one pushed and tap that little a right there and it'll be automatically assigned so just screw around a little bit with this uh, program and don't forget to um, 
don't forget don't forget to um, uh, save your configurations and if you if you want to reconfigure your whole goddamn sim it'll only take you a couple of hours to do uh, I would actually recommend you do this because uh, I, I seem to remember the guy you bought bought your simulator from his name is Chris too awesome guy by the way and for you to learn what he did you actually should just try to uh, delete the comp uh, just delete the configuration file within your ProSim folder and start all over again but do make a backup of that fo of that configuration file in case you need it later and you just try start with the first panel and you start going up and down and up and down and configure that shit thing and uh, I promise you it'll only take a couple hours to do oh okay guys I'll see you later bye